I think we're getting our first view of our target destination of yeah, isn't, that isn't that one there I think it's that one right off in the distance there that's it 30 kilometers away lots of ups and downs between knowing today was a very long and difficult walk we got up early and were gone just after 7 a.m. We made some good early progress despite some big hills both up and down. We are walking down the hill on girls all together. What are we walking on? The Strata Bianchi. Come on, yeah. Beck. Do you want the lecture again? I think this is Strata Concreti. Just this is Strata Concreti. Yeah. Okay. And it's there's some signs up ahead. Back on the path again. Back, smile. Click, click. Yeah. I shall. a bit cold apparently unseasonably cold at the moment so it's good that it's not 27 degree days but it's a little bit chilly but uh and overcast but uh got some great views while walking just some beautiful views here look at that Unfortunately, walking in mud. Look at that. The most direct route was pretty muddy, so we decided to turn off and deal with the extra 750 metres to Galena. Kidding up just after lunch. I had a lovely lunch here. In the town of Galena. And we had pasta, we had some wine, we had tiramisu, and cherry cake, we've gone to the toilet. And now we're ready for the second half of today's walk. 32 kilometers, we're doing 16 left. Very intrepid. Um, next one is, uh, uh, just find something shallow. You won't find anything out of the water. Just find- This one, that one there. Yeah, yeah. Just take your time though, there's no rush. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes, and walk quickly. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hey! Hey, did Mum it. did it. Okay, can you... Forge the stream. Hey, can you turn this a bit? Just don't be alarmed if it moves a little bit. <laughs> Hey team! Do I feel accomplished? High five for forging the stream! Yay! Okay, photo time. So the town that was uh, way off in the distance before is getting closer. That's close our de not close enough for Joe. 10 kilometers. Uh, there it is, that's where we're going. There's still a way. Ouch. Some paths are a little bit denser than others, aren't they? This one are we crossing? It's a magnificent view down into the valley. That's, and the views from there are going to be great, but I think we've all got to a point where after, you know, so this is a 32 and a half kilometer walk that I, that we're looking at our feet more than we're looking at the view now. So I have to remember, it is pretty spectacular. That's where we're going. I've still got five kilometers to go. 4.44 and we've been walking since seven. Well, by the time we're finished, we will have gone up 1,500 meters. At the same time as coming down 1,100 meters. 637 meters we're at at the moment. And that's just shy of 800. So 150, maybe 160 meters. Still to ascend, and the girls come. They're back there. I think we'll all be keen to get in tonight. Isn't it beautiful? The horses are there, the dog's looking. Is the dog looking after them or just keeping them company? Or <laughs> what does? The cloud. To give you some idea of how far we've come today, that town there was about our 10 kilometer mark. So <laughs> we'd walked 10 kilometers further than that. There it is off in the distance. Oh boy. Okay. okay, we're going up the hill to Radical Fanny. What's it called? Radical Fanny? Radiography? Rad Radical. With the imposing tower. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we thought it was just going to be around the corner and it's still a kilometre away. Oh. I think we're all over it. Hey, hon. Radical Fanny. Radical Fanny. That's, what are your thoughts on the day, Beck? I think I agree with those thoughts. What are your thoughts on the day? Long, long, hard. long and hard. What's Amy's thoughts on the day? Mm, it was very hard. It was very hard. And look, this is meant to be spectacular views. We could see this place from 32 kilometers away and it's just, we're in a whiteout at the moment. No so. And yes, it's definitely this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. That is a very difficult hour and a half. Oh. <laughs> I'm very glad to get here. Put away the cameras, nursed our sore muscles, and found a lovely cafe where we had a beautiful meal, as well as managing to find our smiles again. It's perched right on top of a hill, so I'm thinking, yep, there's lots of stairs and beautiful town I have to explore. Come here and, well, I was going to say summer. We're only a good week or so away from summer. This unseasonable cold stuff we're having. Beautiful. We stopped at a beautiful little bar and had our coffee and croissants as per usual and were soon on our way downhill. Unfortunately, it's not looking like we're going to see many of the views on apparently the greatest viewing day of the whole trip. <laughs> Walking out of Rabbit Capani. Hello people that are watching this in the future. We are having a very good time. And it looks like maybe the mist is dropping a little bit, so we might get some views. All right, I guess we have to say goodbye to the tower. We're not gonna climb that this time, and we'll see what we see. We're out of the old town now, and into the more modern town. But as we come down across the valley, this is going to be some, apparently, the most spectacular, amongst the most spectacular views of the whole trip. But uh, there's some cloud there that says otherwise at the moment. There's Radika Fanny. Right in the distance there, there's the tower, very imposing. Uh, Joe and Amy walking down the hill. Lovely view, Dick. Checking out the view. <laughs> it was a pleasant 11 kilometer walk down to Ponta Rigo. We did manage to get some wonderful views on the way down as well. We took our time and nursed our sore muscles as we were all suffering somewhat from the very difficult previous day's walk to Radikafani. We stopped at the little food truck along the way and had a coffee and waited for the 12.10 bus. The guidebook recommends against walking the 12 kilometres to Aquapedente as it is along the verge of a very busy road. Instead, we followed Amy to a wonderful restaurant where we had one of our best meals on the Via so far, notwithstanding the fact that the final muscle got its revenge on me when it squirted all over me, much to the mirth of the waitress and everybody there. It felt like a day off, and we enjoyed our relaxation and restful afternoon as the town got ready for its spring flower festival. After a restful sleep, we had quite a lazy start to the next day and only headed out by about 10.15, making San Lorenzo Nuovo at about the 10 kilometer mark by 12.30, just in time for a beer and some pizza. Shortly after, we passed into the country of Bolsena. We're on the walk from Aqua Parente to Bolsena, and we've just um, seen the lake for the first time. Um, that used to be a volcano, uh, apparently in Roman times, AD 100, I think there's, Evidence of volcanic activity. Hopefully, nothing anymore. But uh, we are going to Bolsena, which is about 12 kilometers away. We descended and ascended again around the hills close to the lake, but not the foreshore. There were some lovely views, but again the weather impacted. It was cold and windy and with intermittent rain, and there was less chance to appreciate the view. I was amazed there were no boats whatsoever on the huge lake, although we did see a seaplane take off and land a couple of times.
we walked past some lovely fields, especially one covered in wildflowers of purple, yellow and red. It seemed like something straight out of a novel and we stopped and took many photos. flowers of yellow and red and purple I'm walking along beside it the winds a little bit cold I've got about six kilometers to get into both center and uh, but you know seeing things like this pretty nice after more than 22 kilometers we finally made it into Bolsena and checked into our little apartment around 4:30. We went for a walk around the town and the girls had their first hot chocolate, which they both loved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try some of that. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, try it. Try some of yours. We're really liking the hot chocolates. Because they're... That, oh, so thick and creamy. We just ambled through the medieval town, through the narrow streets, and just enjoyed a bit of window shopping and the general ambience. What's that? Oh, Mark. <laughs> That's video. Come up to the old castle. Have a look in the town. Little ferrets will down there on the lakeside. Beck and I are going up into the medieval tower. Looking around the, the parapet of the castle, up high on the hill. the castle, can you? We had a wonderful meal at a place recommended to us by a landlord. Amy said after one mouthful that it was the best pasta that she had had in Italy. I had a pitchy carbonara, which was also one of my favourites. It was a bit of a late night for a Camino night, and we got back close to 10pm. Unfortunately for the girls, it was only a two-bedroom apartment, and they had to share a bed, which they weren't thrilled about. I did the little girls. They're going to sleep. Look. The next morning we took our obligatory selfie and were leaving Bolsena by about 9.30. Our walk took us over ancient Roman roads and up forest trails, up and down hills with occasional views of the lake on our right. The sun had come out today and it was much warmer than it had been lately and we welcomed it. Although Joe didn't love it quite as much as the rest of us did. For she suffered more in the heat than we did, and it took more of a toll on her. But still we walked on and enjoyed each other's company and the wonderful views. Nice? Nice. Good. Oh. Nice. Oh, that's nice.
Listen. What can you hear? Just the birds and the bees. Literally That's the it. birds and the bees. That's it. Wow. Oh, look at them all over there. Oh, that must be a beehive. Down there. You can see them all swarming around that. Oh, yeah, yeah. They must, they must have a hive there. Yeah, look at them all. I wonder if you can hear them. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to move on. Too many bees for my liking. Wow, look at that. some great background music to them looking out there. I saw it on the menu Oh, I did see it too. What is it? A hundred kilometers, did you say? It says 100 Where? It says 100 Where? It says 100 at 100 along the At 100 kilometers, I wonder. Monte Just coming into Monte Fischioni and I've seen a sign. There's Roma 100 kilometers. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, right above the piazza we were just on. And the and the Duomo. There's a big bathroom in there, but I won't go in there at the moment. Amy's in there. And... Oh! Nearly <laughs> oh. broke my thumb. <laughs> Mum, you did very well at this place. Thank you. Look, outside, we're on the veritable piazza. And it's already taking advantage of it. Soaking up the sun. We decided to go for a bit of a walk around town and found a place for a hot chocolate. We were going to do the laundry, but the weather looked like it was about to change. So we headed back up the hill and checked out the magnificent basilica instead. The church itself is lovely, was open and had a great vibe. The acoustics in Under the Dome were amazing and I could only imagine with the music and choir and organ what it would sound like. Yeah, it's a lovely church. Can you imagine the singing in here? That would be magnificent. Cheers. Cheers. Piazza moment. Cheers. 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 This is Cheers. one of the better piazza moments. Cheers. The rain has just in interrupted our piazza moment. So we've taken our piazza moment inside. Inside. It technically still counts as a piazza moment because we're on the piazza. Yeah. And we're having a massage, and it's raining, and we're dry, and we're really loving it. Yeah. 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 And outside. Oh boy. I am so glad we are not walking at the moment. This is our dinner for tonight. We're having wine, and we just aim. Show us the pizza. Yay, four boxes of pizza. We went to the pizza place and uh, it was completo. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Have your bum bit. Look at that. That looks so good. That looks so good. We had a lovely family afternoon, all together, enjoying ice creams and hot chocolates and wonderful piazza moments. Not sure what Amy's doing there. <laughs> to top it all off, we had wonderful pizzas and enjoyed one of our favourite movies together. The next morning, we had our usual coffees and brioche in the cafe below the hotel. We only had about 18 kilometres to walk, so we took our time taking selfies and we left the town at 9.15 to walk up to the park on the top of the hill with views back across the lake and to Belsena and even Radikafani far in the distance. Somewhere there and overlooking the, the plain is the basilica set on on the hill. A fair way up here. I'm gonna walk down that today. Somewhere down there. That's where we came from, around that lake, past the lake. So I think that's Bolsena over there on the far little crook. I can't see Radica Fanny in the distance. And that will hold a special place in our heart, Radica Fanny. Even though I can't see it, I get a little bit of a shudder looking back. <laughs> Shake your head back on. Mum's already shaking her head. <laughs> That's the Tower del Pellegrini, the Pilgrim's Tower. And uh, this is on the other side of the park, looking towards the turbo. How beautiful is this view here? We're at the top of this city in this a beautiful park here and we're about to start walking. Initially there was a steep downward path to reach the plain. We're thinking this is maybe a Roman road out in the countryside and there are apparently a lot of Roman roads we're traveling on today so I'm thinking this is Roman road. With Monte Fiasconi far behind us we stopped for a rest and to eat the pastries and sandwiches that had been bought from the cafe that morning. It was a welcome break as we were all getting a bit hot because the sun was beating down on us but still it was beautiful. The wildflowers were in bloom and we were walking through open fields with expansive views, both back up the hill to Monte Fiascone and onwards towards Viterbo. Sunblock stop, drink a water stop. 
and it's a fairly straight road we're walking on. It's right back there and keeps going there. So I think it's an old Roman road. That's it. It's built on pretty straight. Beautiful. This is just alongside the track. That looks like the turbo in the distance. The turbo in the distance. We finally came into the turbo and were very relieved. It was quite hot. A stop near the old walls of the city and a large beer did wonders to help. And it was time for our pilgrim chores to feed ourselves, to clean our clothes, and of course to have an ice cream. We met up with Julia, another pilgrim we had met on along the way, and we had a nice meal in a modern restaurant. Amy wasn't keen on sharing the single bed with Beck, so she decided to make her own bed on the floor. We initially planned to have a day off in Viterbo, but we changed that and decided to walk on the next day because we had our sights firmly set on Rome and we were looking forward to the start of week six and the last stage of our epic family adventure.